Hey, Dad. In this episode, Henry sort of reconnects with his father a bit, and they get on really, really well. Like quite similar people in many respects. You liked him, didn't you? Well, he reminded me of you. Was that a yes or a no? Both. We, of course, are acquainted with just the, the tragedy of Richard's life. It's terrible. He had a lovely young son and an absolutely beautiful wife. That all ends, and then he starts drinking too much. It's an absolutely tragic life. We learn that they have a fractious relationship, essentially. We know he's been a distant father, that he hasn't been present in his life, and that's made Henry emotionally disconnected. What's the problem? I'm time traveling a lot at the moment, because I'm stressing. If I stress at the wedding, I can flip out. Everybody flips out at their wedding. Yeah, but when I flip out, I end up naked at a hoedown in 1987. One thing we tried to do is make time travel an affliction. We see that this is something that he has, which torments him. His anxiety and fear of the up-and-coming wedding manifests itself in jumping into the future, seeing versions of himself, understanding that he's going to die relatively young, which is a cataclysmic thing for him to know. He also learns that the future versions of themselves have been trying for a baby, and they keep trying, but older Claire keeps miscarrying again and again and again. It turns out he makes time travel babies and they pop right out of the womb. It's a pretty tough marriage. It won't work. It won't ever, ever work. He had a mastectomy. Yeah. You didn't even tell her, you just went ahead and did it? Yeah, that's what I did. I'm not gonna do that. That's exactly what you're gonna do. This was a decision that feels like a betrayal, a huge betrayal, and it wasn't a conversation that they shared. With Henry time traveling for the rest of their marriage and her knowing that, there's an element of her wishing to have something that they can share. I'm not ready for this. Ready for what? It's shoe polish day. Shoe polish what? It's shoe polish day. Come the wedding day, the two Henrys switch, they bounce around in time, and older Henry arrives to the shock of everyone, and they have to kind of conceal that as best they can. Shoe polish. I need shoe polish. Shoe polish? Why? Well, I'm guessing none of you guys are Karen's hair dye. It's poetic in some ways. If you marry a time traveler, it should all happen in the wrong order, shouldn't it? How's this ever gonna work? Relax. I know how this plays out. That's the Henry she's been waiting for, you know, her entire life. She marries the wiser version, the more loving version. Hey, Dad. Mm. Is it worth it? Getting married? Of course it is. No, no. This isn't about me, for Clara's sake. Was marrying mom with losing him? It's a big question. Well, that's a big day. It wasn't easy. It was worth it. Guys, come on. I got to get you to the church. Yeah, we're coming. On time. Well, I know. There's kind of a joke about that. You'll see. Come on. I know about the joke, Gomez. I watched the video. No. What's he doing there? He's getting married. Yeah, to my girlfriend. Weddings are joyful. Weddings are beginnings. Weddings are exciting and wonderful things. With the wedding, she's walking down the aisle and she sees that the Henry that she is going to marry is an old version. So I think her mind is very much kind of like taken aback by that. She's still very much confused. Yep, now she's getting it. But ultimately, in the moment, she wishes to be as present as she can be, marry the love of her life. Where is he? You look amazing. You smell of shoe polish. We're getting married. Like setting sail into a storm. You cling on for as long as you can because you know that this is as good as anything ever gets. I now pronounce you man and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Through Stephen Moffat's writing, it all was there. All the love, the relationship, the caring. This series is going to be all about that. I adored working with David Nutter. I mean, he absolutely gets every beat of a scene. What attracted me most to this project was the writing and David Nutter. Love David Nutter. David Nutter and Stephen combined. It's a kinetic, energetic, really funny story. I think it's pretty easy to just kind of find yourself escaping into it and falling right into it. There's sad moments and there's very joyful moments. This is really a human show about relationships. It's a wonderfully compelling story, but there is a drumbeat of doom under it all. So I wanted to end with just 
fun with everybody laughing and smiling and get behind the fact that right now is pretty damn good. I'm just so very happy that we were able to do this. It kept me going. It kept my heart beating.